Is my life here in the Amazon jungle a great adventure? That's a question I recently received. It was a question I knew the answer to, but I struggled to answer it. We have returned to the States a few weeks earlier than we had planned, due to the declining health of my dear sister, who has pancreatic cancer. It's a blessing to spend time with her and many of our wonderful friends here in the Northwest. But this question leads me to ponder how to better share with each of you what our work really is like. In many ways, moving to Columbia has been the hardest thing we have ever done. It's more than a struggle of a different hemisphere, a different culture, and a different language. For example, I think of the people we serve in the Amazon. My daughter's best friend in Colombia lives in a house made of poles cut from the jungle with a roll of tarp nailed around the outside. She's a bright girl with a radiant smile, yet she lives in a home where every one of her siblings has a different dad. She brings her little brother to Sabbath school and church every week, despite her parents' infrequent attendance. These children love the stories they are learning, and they are learning to love Jesus and receive hope in their lives. Her story is just one of the many stories of hardship we see on a daily basis. Missionary life in the Amazon is hard because of the constant needs around us. Needs for better support for our missionaries. Needs for more resources to reach many of the unreached people groups. Needs for churches to be built. And the biggest need is to bring hope to those who don't have it. It's a hard life, but it's the best kind of hard. You see, we have the great privilege of sharing the gospel and bringing hope to those who are hopeless. Whether I'm teaching a class, wiring a building or taking a boat up the Amazon, I have the privilege of seeing God at work firsthand. No, I do not live the life of an adventurer, instead a life of service, looking for ways to bring eternal hope. Even here in the States, it's hard to watch my sister decline and to think of saying goodbye for now. There are other difficulties here too. I feel myself being pulled between the needs at home and the needs in the Amazon, but I can trust. I can trust that God has our family where he wants us to be, and God has a plan for our lives. Our work is simple. In fact, it's a work you can do too. I would consider it a great privilege to call each of you missionaries right where you are. The qualifications are quite simple. They're to share the gospel today and every day. You see, we live a life it's the best kind of hard. We live a life of helping others, and it does not get any better than that.